Keep well, at what water temperature do pike turn into muskie? Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. We're gonna mix it up a little bit today. We got something different for you. We're going musky fishing. This is sort of a follow-up to a musky trip that I did last year. I went to Wisconsin, did a few days of musky fishing for my first time ever, and I was lucky enough to actually see one get caught. It was pretty cool. I figured the best way for me to actually catch a musky is to give it as much time as I possibly can. So I'm back again for a week this time. Time. I'm gonna do three days of fishing with some friends and three days at a lodge. So I've got a lot of time in the boat ahead of me. I'm pretty optimistic that I will see a muskie. I'm hoping that I will see one caught. By no means am I expecting to catch a muskie. I haven't earned it yet. I've only put a total of four days into this. I don't deserve it yet. But hopefully we can change that by the end of this trip. All right, let's introduce the crew today. And who do we have here? What's up guys? You got Dan Donovan, owner of Musky Fool. Tell us about Musky Fool. We are Madison's only dedicated fly shop. We focus obviously on musky fishing. Full service fly shop, extensive online store. You can get everything you need, especially musky stuff. Also guided trips, muskies, trout, smallmouth, whatever you need, you can get it at Musky Fool. And another member of the Musky Fool team, How's it going everybody? This is Josh Smeltzer again. I fished one day with Josh last year. He picked up a rod for five minutes and caught a muskie. So we're hoping we can <laughs> yeah. add some more mojo like that today. All right, so we're in this little stealth craft raft and we are gonna go down this beautiful river on this crisp fall day. And uh, I'm excited and optimistic. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right. Perfect way to be. <laughs> also quick shout out to Temple Fork Outfitters for Hook a meme up with a couple rods for this trip. Find fly rods at a good price and renowned for their customer service. Dan, do you carry TFO in your shop? Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Water's so clear. Look at that. That's five feet of viz easily. Wow, that's awesome, dude. The game is officially on. What do you got on there, Josh? It's a murky dragon tail double pewter. Yeah, you might as well. That's a good fly. If that wasn't some fly fishing gibberish, then I don't know if I've ever heard any. Marquee double dragon tail Buford. <laughs> Is that English? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah? Just had a follow. Confirmed. A flash? Yeah. Signs of life. You feel it. Okay, we're done. That's it for day one. Uh, one confirmed follow. Skunk! No eats, which is, even for musky, that's a little bit slow, apparently. I'm just going on their expertise. Again, I'm not real experienced with this stuff. But a beautiful, beautiful river. And I don't know about you guys, I had a good time though. I did too. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll go to a spot that actually has muscles. <laughs> Today was a warm up day. Warm up day. Yeah. So we are going to go do our evening activities. Actually, we're going to uh, do a podcast. And I don't know if it's out by the time this video is out, I'll leave a link in the description. So we'll catch up with you again in the morning. New boat, new water, different program. All right. See ya. All right. Here we are. Day two. We're on a different boat, new body of water. This will be a little bit different for me because in all of my not extensive musky experience, I haven't done a lake yet. So we've got this lake. Here comes Josh, same crew as yesterday, team musky full. Good structure in this lake. Got some cloud cover today. I'm assuming that's gonna work in our benefit. So there are some muskies swimming in this lake. That's the word on the street. So we're gonna hit it. Let's go fishing. a vicious attack. Oh, oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. 
smack it. Yeah. And did you see the swirl? I did not. Yeah, I, I saw the swirl. Yeah. It was confir yeah. confirmed fish. My heart's beating. I saw a flash and then felt the bite, and then I saw the swirlies in the water. I think that's the first bite I've had from a muskie. I didn't trout set, that's for sure. Oh, there, there. Pike, that's a pike, isn't it? Not a lot of pike in here. Okay, that might have been a muskie. He was a little guy. Yeah. I trout set a little bit on that one sideways. He came up and smoked it like yeah. times though. Come on, man. I just got the, the slightest little taste. Getting a follow. Come on. Fuck it. Okay. Making me work for it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that was a much bigger tail than the last one I saw. Fast accelerate through the straightaway, hang it up in the corner. You teaching me how to drive here or figure eight a muskie? There you go. Oh, yes! Fish on. Yeah, sweet. Oh, it jumped. <laughs> Once again, Josh caught, catches the only muskie I've ever seen caught. <laughs> Would, you, Would you just chill, bro? Cute little guy. Yeah. <sighs> Really in there, huh? Yeah. Let him breathe for a minute. I can smell it. Musky slime. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's pungent. Ooh. Well, you named the last one Magellan. What's this one's name? Ulysses. Thanks, Ulysses. Okay. I Sweet, Ulysses. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Nice to meet you. They do exist. Oh, cool. Bye. That was awesome. All right. Nice job, gentlemen. Okay. Nicely done. Ooh, the smell. That's six muskies moved. Oh, there. Oh, oh, strip, oh. Strip, 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 strip. Pause. The very next cast. That's seven muskies moved. Oh. Yeah. You did? Yeah. We had an action? A big brown object moved about three feet less than my fly. Oh, yeah, there he is. There he is. There you go, yeah. man. Keep tripping. Oh, gosh. I didn't have my camera rolling, but we just hooked up. There he is, late in the day. Okay, I gotta keep the rod tip low. I haven't even seen it yet. Oh, he's snagged. Good, let's get him. The easiest way to get it off. <laughs> oh, no. Musky tried to eat your fly. I'm not even sure what to think. Your butt snagged him. Yeah. Huh. He's not super chunk about it. So huh. Okay, bud. I don't think I can claim this one, boys. But it's still neat. Torn up. Gonna put that up there. I'll let you. you get some B-roll and do what you want with it. We won't pressure you to... Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I like, would say as far as musky fishing goes, you caught one, it probably smacked it. And oh, it definitely and ate the fly. But... Uh, I can smell it. Yeah, you can still check them out and stuff. Wow, so, okay, there's a little mark from him getting caught in the back. Okay, it is a muscalunge. Get one at least in the background, the right, Josh. In the boat. Hi, right, bud. Sorry we didn't hook you in your face. Yeah, okay, let's Probably. let him go. Yeah. All right, thank you. That oh, was cool. Uh, Go. He gone. All right. Okay, I held one. Yeah. I held one. You landed we're, one. We're, we're getting there. We're getting we there would step all by feel, step. We would all feel similar to how you feel. We would feel a lot good about landing one. I, I, we did. I feel conflicted though. I feel. I would. I would feel very conflicted if my first muskie is like that. <laughs> so Ben, you want to hook him in the face? I, um, <laughs> Ideally, yes. And I'm still gonna have a beer after that yeah thank was, you fellas that was over 30. No i got to touch one that was yeah, maybe on the eight point mark that was a nice fish i would have been stoked about no. that okay we're calling it super fun day i think definitely my most fun day musky fishing so far mostly because we had a lot of action 
like sure eight or 10 uh, interactions with fish, several bites, one and a half fish in the boat, I think. Super fun, I got to hold my first muskie, but I'm not really calling it my first catch yet. That's Those are the Atta standards boy. that I'm setting, okay? Can't thank Team Muskie Fool enough. You guys are the best. You know, they've uh, been amazingly generous to me and please go support a small business, muskiefool.com. We're gonna wrap it up and uh, I got four more days of fishing. So thank you guys again and I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And all right, say goodbye. See you guys. See you later. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Wisconsin, Ben. All right. All right, here we are. It is day three of this musky adventure 2023. Another boat, another body of water. Yesterday was super fun. Sorta of caught my first musky, but not really. Had a good night's sleep last night. And here we are with my good friend, Josh Holbert from Northwoods Fly Fisher. How's it going? Josh is a fly fishing guide and you can book a trip with him for muskies, smallmouth, and probably some other stuff too. Hayward, Wisconsin, website right here. We also have Brandon. Brandon's just a dude that likes to fish. No guide service to promote. He's just out for a good time. So we've got our big flies. There are some big fish swimming around in here. I have fried chicken. I have beer. So we have everything we need. I have a boat <laughs> and all colors and water. Yeah, all the ingredients. And a few flies. Oh yeah, all the ingredients are there for a good time. Definitely some muskies, hopefully. All right, let's go. Yeah, little pike. Pike Rooney. Tis in e-socks though. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. Even a, a handle handle or is that a screwdriver handle? <laughs> Allen wrench. Yay! That's a fish in the boat. Hey. That's a, a musky. And so after that. Oh, oh, he's on. Nice. Is Pike? Pike. Yeah, it's a little Pike yeah. again. That's all right. It's action. We need some front of the That's boat nice action. There you got this. It's a dandy. Bye bye. Oh, um. You got to name him. Yeah, we typically like to name our fish. That one is Frank. Frank, classic. And I'm like. Oh, oh, that was a roll. Oh, what? Oh, it's a little tiny small uh, pike. Or maybe a tiny musky. Could be a tiny musky. Could be a tiny musky. Twice. That's a pike. I saw the swirl. Sorry, man. Oh, they're getting smaller and smaller yeah. too. Well, they're standard size. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is that cookie was third. cutter. Do you want to go a little smaller on your fly? I'll do whatever you tell me to do. All right, let's do it. What's his name? This is Charlie. Charlie. Adios, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Well, what I learned yesterday is that we are not talking enough sh to the muskies. Yeah. Like, talking sh makes them bite. Mm. That's a real thing. I learned that yesterday. And it's what it was, and there's a fish. And that is a small Esox. Is that a muskie? I think this is a small. Let's not get our hopes up here. Let's not get our hopes up. That's a pike. It's a pike. That's okay. I caught a pike. Um, I don't know what to do with this thing, so you're in the middle of the boat. You're guiding right now. I don't want it to bite my fingers off. And I heard they're slimy and smelly. I'll tip you, don't worry. Actually, I've, I, you've had drank enough of my beers. I drank enough beer. <laughs> you can release one small pike. Thank you. It buried it. So that's the fish I need where I don't have to set the hook. He just eats it and he's on. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, oh, that's God, that's my favorite. Yeah. Ooh, I can smell it. Mm -hmm. Can you smell it? Yeah, absolutely I can smell it. Okay. It's gonna... similar to musky. Similar, oh, but, but it's more pungent. And stinky. Yeah. Is that a leech coming out of his gills? It is, that, on his uh, left side. You can see it, right? Yeah, oh, there's a leech. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, there's a leech down in there. Cool. Um, What's his name? Albert. Albert. Bye, Albie. Thank you, Pat Albert. Yep, let's get your bigger cousin. Thank you for your sacrifice. It was worth it, right? <laughs> You've earned yourself some more beers. Uh, Didn't get skunked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw a flash. It's larger. I don't know if it's a musky, but it's larger. It's a pike. It's a pike. It's a pike. It was cool though. That was still neat. Gave me a bit of a rush there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought you were gonna say me. No. Hold on, let me come around. It takes a minute to get used to him. Around the oar. But they're a hardy, hardy fish. Yeah. I just feel like I'm gonna cut my hands on either their their cheeks or their teeth. All right, that's a better fish. fish Wrong cool. Esox, but we'll take it. Oh, quick and easy. Josh, will you name my fish? Uh, yeah. 
Francesco. Oh, no, you Fran need a little slime. Fran Francisco? Yep. All right. <laughs> that might be the biggest pike that, eh, eh, probably, I've caught a few right around that size. Never a real big one. Thanks, Francisco. I can smell you. Let's go, buddy. Okay, another day of musky fishing under my belt. We're gonna wrap it up. Today was a short day. I got somewhere to be in a little while. And you're gonna see that in the next few days. I guess, yeah, thanks for taking me fishing, boys. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. got to squeeze a few little slimy pike and it was super fun. Brandon, thanks for rowing and thanks for fishing. Again, Northwoods fly fisher, Josh Holbert, look him up for a trip. And we still have three days to go. So <laughs> let's just get right to that. You're gonna see something completely different for the next three days. Editing, fast forward now. Voice over Ben here. I shot the intro to day four in time-lapse. So this is what it looks like. And then I also let the camera roll for 15 minutes without realizing it. So I have all this nice B-roll that I can just talk over. Day four for me on this trip was also day one of something called Musky Madness. Musky Madness is a group fishing trip put on by artist and my friend Bob White. Go to Bob's website and check out his artwork and maybe take a look at the hosted trips that he does all over the the world. He's been doing it a long time and he is a pro at everything he does, trust me. So Bob invited me out for three days of musky fishing at Musky Madness this year and I was eager to show up. On the first day of this portion of my trip, I found myself in a drift boat on a lake. My co-angler is Jake Keeler, a fly fisherman, and he is also an artist. Go ahead and check out his stuff too. Jake and I had the pleasure of fishing with none other than Brad Bowen. Brad is a living legend in musky country, and we've known each other online for a long time, but it, we had never shaken hands before, so I was pretty excited to be in his drift boat called the War Pig. We launched the drift boat on this beautiful fall morning, and then we went fishing. Yeah, they're kind of like that. Yeah, exactly. Did you just have a squirrel? Oh. There's a confirmed musky. Yeah, that was a that was yeah. not. That was I saw a, I saw the first one. Been a slow day. We're now after lunch. Oh God! That was a spontaneous eat. Oh my God! We know what that was, right? There's no other thing it could be. Confirmed. Yeah, not. Yeah. Moved one. Nice one. And that's the end of day four. We saw a topwater bust. We had a follow or a swipe and then another confirmed swipe at the end of the day. Pretty slow action wise, but hey, that's musky fishing, right? I wasn't expecting it to be hot and heavy. Regardless, super fun day in the boat. I definitely had a really good time and we still have two more days of this. So we're gonna head back to the lodge and meet up with everyone else on this trip. Jake, thanks for taking the bow all day. Brad, thank you very much for taking us fishing, buddy. I appreciate it. We'll do it again. Okay, coming up next is day five. My wrist hurts. <laughs> Okay, just as promised, this is day five of my musky trip. Day two of musky madness with Bob White. We're on another body of water in another boat, and we got a bunch of fly rods and flies. Let's introduce Captain for the day. Hello, Dan Boggs, flying musky. He's a musky guide. You can book him, and you can be in this boat. It's got sweet lean bars and everything. First mate for the day. Ron Hickey. He's a musky fisherman and a guest at Bob's Musky Madness. So we've got a couple friends with us today. They're, we're a group of three boats. We're all gonna motor up here and see if we can scare up one of these fish. All right, let's go. Okay, arm and shoulder and wrist, here we go again. Okay, new fly. No love yet. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> Alright, All right, see y'all later. Should have brought some goggles for running in the boat today. Yeah. Alright, making a move. Got some intel on where some fish are laying up. 
Can we go catch them? I think so. All right, I'm we in need that. To. Yeah, come down. You hooked up to something? Yep. That is a pike. That's a pike. Right, it's a fish. Piker. <coughs> I hate pikers. You know what we like to do on our on my channel though? Kill pike. No, it, well, no, oh. that's off camera. We like <laughs> to name the fish. Oh. You, you want to name that one? It's Paul. Paul. Pike. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Send your bigger cousin. There goes David. Oh, oh, it's a pike. Oh, and that and a trout set bad. Yeah, you got me. Maybe it was a tiny muskie, but it was not big, whatever it was. It sure looked like a pike. Yeah, I f***ed up, I admit it. And you know why? It's because I saw forward. the fish. Yeah. And I know that's a weakness of mine. Uh, oh, oh. You saw that one, right? Redeemed myself. That was a, not a trout set. It's not a fish either. Okay, the fish, the one that's over here is mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch that one. Kingfisher? Yeah, two of them. Yeah, herons especially. Come on, muskers. Just go ahead and do a musk right here on my fly. All right, we're closing out today. We caught one little pike and moved one other little pike. But as always, I learned a lot and had a fantastic time. Another successful day of musky fishing in my limited experience opinion. Ron, great fishing with you. Awesome. Man. Yeah, super fun times in the boat. Dan, thank you for having me in yeah, your man. vessel. I would love to anytime. do it again someday. And of course, you're welcome in my boat anytime. We still have one more day of fishing to go. So we're going to go back to the ramp, back to the lodge, have dinner, and... Uh, one more day, fingers crossed. See you tomorrow. Okay, we're back. Day six. This is my last day to make this happen. Not gonna lie, I want it, but I'm also very in touch with the reality of the situation. <laughs> it's musky fishing, that's the reality. We're at a boat ramp. It's raining pretty bad and there's lightning, so we're just kind of playing with some gear here for a minute and then we'll, then we'll load up. I guess first we'll introduce Captain for the day. You wanna say hi? Hi, Tony. That's Tony. He's not a fly fishing guide by trade, so I'm not gonna link his website or anything. No. <laughs> but if you wanna come to Bob's Musky Madness, you might uh, get guided by Tony. First mate? Mike. Mike's gonna be in the front of the boat. And... Yeah, I'm gonna be back of the boat. Okay, Mike's gonna be in the back of the boat. I guess I get the front again. All right, cool. We're just uh, playing with some flies. We'll be out on the water as soon as it lets us. All right. All right, hopefully it doesn't get too nautical out there. Right there. I, I just saw the splash. I'm I, okay with it. Yeah. Whoa, right there. What the hell? Dude, I, was he following my fly maybe? Oh my God. Oh, it's a fucking loon. Saw one or? Oh, you got a good look at him? I'll get him, don't worry. Get him. Yep. Oh. 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 Turn it. Oh, no. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. That was a large one. Coming in slow. He looked like you wanted to eat it though. Yeah, his lips were on it. Oh yeah. <sighs> Old man noises. I feel pretty good about that little venture though. <sighs> that was cool as shit, man. Yeah. Hot lunch today. Perfect day for it. If you catch one, take a picture. Will do. You don't have to show me, but take a picture for Bob. Well, I mean, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> Perfect. Bring the fish Perfect. The Size of them, it's 40 inches, just so you know. Not that I checked. <laughs> it's coming down. The fish don't care. They're already wet. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I got demoted. I got put on another boat. 
<laughs> Let's introduce the new captain. Who do we have? Yeah, I'm David Holmes. Hi. What's the name of your guiding company? David Holmes Guiding. Yeah. Nice and simple. Yeah. He's a full-time fly fishing guide. You can hire him for all your fly fishing dreams to be fulfilled. Uh, I'm kind of excited to be in this boat because you can see we have a lot of electronics. David is of the younger generation and embracing technology, which I think a lot of these other people should be doing as well. It helps. Yeah, yeah. so I'm excited to see what he's gonna do with it. We're going back up here to where we saw a couple fish earlier, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll catch one. We'll see. We're gonna I, try. Yeah, we're gonna try. Now we're talking, dude. Okay. So you see the tail moving? Holy crap, that's the fish? It's a fish. I don't know a if fish. that's that one. Okay, but... not the, maybe not. It's right there. The fish is right there. It's right there. Got to follow. Well, I'm just trying to learn how to interpret it. Again? This is a 16 weight rod, just FYI. I think that fly is 29 inches long. It's bigger than any muskie I've ever caught in the back. Okay, the fish is here. All right, let's fill in the viewers. David had found this fish earlier, fished for it, moved it, rolled it or something. Then we came back and looked for it in the other boat later, and he's just brought her up. Is this good water for the live scope? <laughs> let's do this, man. Let's do this. I love this shit, dude. If we could hunt one down like this, that would be so cool. It's super cool. Yeah. Okay, so I probably need to go more left. Where's the fish? 45. Okay, all right. Am I, do I have enough distance? Okay, that's it. That's the end of my musky fishing trip for 2023. I didn't catch a fish. I hooked one in the back. I'm not counting it. I'm just standing by that. Pretty fantastic time. I'm gonna close out this video later with my thoughts on the whole thing. But until we get to that, David, thank you again for taking me fishing. Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, it was super fun to play with your electronics. I thought that was very cool. Really fun way to catch fish. Yep. Look them up, book a trip. Okay, so. I'm going to head back to the lodge and I will catch up with you after I kind of digest this trip because honestly there was a lot that happened man. It was six days of fishing and I got to kind of sort through it in my head. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. That's the way fishing goes and that's the way musky fishing goes in particular I think. Okay we'll catch you right now for the wrap up. I've been home for a week now and I've had a chance to sort of digest this trip in my head and I've still got musky on the brain. That was six long days of musky fishing and I thought it was a lot of work, but I would have turned around and done six more days right after that. I've done 10 days total. I'm just scratching the surface here and I can tell that this rabbit hole goes real deep. Musky for me are sort of this mysterious, elusive fish. They're just fascinating and they're cool looking and they have big teeth and they smell good, but I am definitely mad at them. They are in my head. So the only cure for that is to catch one. So I'm definitely coming back next year. Like that's for sure, I'm already planning it. And I know I said this in the closeout of last year's video, but that's because this is true. What really made this trip is the people. Everyone is so generous and knowledgeable and fishy and fun to hang out with. I interacted with a lot of people on this trip and everybody was an all-star. All the anglers that I met were cool and all the guides were top notch. I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm not gonna thank everyone individually. There are just too many of you, but just know you all have my deepest gratitude. And I will give a special thanks to Dan and Josh from Musky Fool, you guys are amazing. And of course, Bob White, the host of Musky Madness. Bob, thank you, you're the man. And Lisa, you probably deserve the most thanks out of everyone. I can't believe what you were able to pull off. And my wife loved your cookies, by the way. So that's gonna do it for this year's Musky video. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this pretty long video. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, it's okay to water load and stay huge.
dude, I'm like, I spent obviously not a ton of time, but for me, it feels like a good amount of time trying to catch a muskie. Yeah. And then that's the first one that I bring into the boat. F me, dude. <laughs> like, what the f me.